everybody. You already know what it is. And back again. Make another video for y'all. You know, I try to stay connected with y'all as much as possible. Everybody meet Kane. The dog that my kids talked me into getting them. Even though I said I wasn't getting them more dogs. But he keeps doing this. And it just makes me like, But yeah, this is Kane after my son, Kane G. So, Kane, me, Kane. <laughs> That's my baby. He's going to get his ears clipped and everything. So, he'll be looking like a superstar pretty soon. And you will be seeing him at Splash. So, that's what it is. But right now, I'm just, I've been writing a little bit here and there. Everything's been so crazy. I feel like I got so behind on everything that I needed to do or, you know, things that I was already working on because of everything that went on in the last month, month and a half. It kind of just put a stop on everything. So I've been doing my best to try to catch up and get everything done that I wanted to get done. So that's what I'm doing right now. So anyways, I wrote a poem. I wrote a couple of poems, so I'm going to read some of them to you guys. Um, I've never written a poem before. When I write, I kind of just write. When I spit, I kind of just spit. You know, um, I don't know. I don't really mean to put it together, but I don't know. I guess I was just feeling some certain kind of way the other day, and I just, the house was empty for once. I didn't have no kids, there was no niche, no nobody, no nothing. So I just started writing. Are you just going to take me a bath with your tongue, or what? You're so fucking cute. Say hi, Facebook. No, no Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. So this one, I haven't labeled it yet, but I think I'm going to call it a pen and a paper. So I hope you like it. Today it's called a pen and a paper. A pen and a paper is all I feel I have at the end of the day. And so then I just say whatever I have to say. When I lay beside her and stared at her face, I felt ease because then I felt I found my place. Her skin that felt like silk was almost like a baby in a security blanket to me, hard to replace. I was the addict and she was my drug of choice. My face red, broken out, full of dried up tears, eyes swollen with nothing left to cry. I then took a deep breath and let out a soft sigh. As I stare at the walls, I find myself asking why. Why must it be this way? Why must it hurt so bad? And then I thought of my dad, who lost his wife after 46 years. I know she was his life. I say, if he can make it, then so can I. But yet everyone still sees this look I have in my eyes. The pain I feel is, is almost, it, it almost seems unreal and hard to deal. The visions of her face almost make me want to run like I'm in a race. But to where is the question, as long as she lives in me, she'll always be. So to where is the question? Shake my head is all I can do. My heart will mend when time is due. All I know is that I will always be true to the woman that matters the most, which is I, my one only and real true boo. I will love myself is what I promise to do. Then one day someone will come along and want to love me too. Love can't always be this bad. When I think about it, all it does is make me mad. I think of what I never had and it makes me laugh because it sounds really so sad. Feeling sorry for myself never helped. So I make my way and continue on alone with no one by myself. But I wake up this, I woke up early this morning and said, get the fuck up, P. This is not, no, this is not how I know you to be. I opened my blinds and the sun filled my eyes. LOL, it feels like it's been a month since I've been outside. I felt the warmth inside and began to cry. But this time tears of joy because I'm no longer love's toy. For right now, I was feeling life's joy. It was no longer gonna keep me down with frowns. After all, was it even real? I'm saying, 
what's the deal? The vessel in me that remains pure, not tainted, shall stay real and not faded. For people that do not appreciate it, do not deserve it. That vessel be in my heart that was almost left dark. By a fake love that was never loved. Will always remain the same. No different because someone else took it in vain. I almost felt I was going insane until I remember my mother's voice saying my name. Now I must move forward fighting a battle with myself that so badly wants to look back. I know if I do I will only be returning to something that was never true that left me so blue. So I raised my head and after a long while I finally smiled. Happy. I found the new pea. She was right here inside of me. For everything that I want to be, I now found my tools and I write my own rules to this game I must claim called life. And if you live it right, you will stay in the light instead of living your days as if they were night. Come with me for I shall be your knight in shining armor if you like. But only come prepared. No need to be scared. For my new love, she will fit me like a glove. Some of my kids and I will grow to love. Our hearts will beat together like a drum and everything else will become numb. So a pen and a paper is all I felt I had. But I have something much more. A heart inside that stays alive and stays pure. So that's my pen and paper poem. Um, I was working on this other one. I didn't yet quite finish it but I'll give you what I have just to throw it out there this one's called the demons inside um, when I say demons I don't mean literal demons like oh I'm possessed you know what I mean but I think that everybody has that angel over here and that devil over here that makes you just you have decisions every day if you're going to do the right thing or you're going to do the bad thing and, you know, that's what I call demons. You know, that other side of your conscience to just continues to try to pull you towards the bad. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I've had my fair share of those. I'm still fighting a couple of demons as we speak. You know what I'm saying? But, um, if you're real with yourself, you'll be able to say that everybody has had them. So, the demons inside. Remember... I'm not done with it. I'm just going to give you guys what I have. So, it goes. The demons inside I felt has kept me from feeling alive. Corrupting my soul and not letting me go. I try so hard to hide. But you can't hide from something inside. They keep me mad. I can't help it if all I know is bad. Living full of sin seems like all I've ever been beating people down that have helped keep and put me down fighting my life with my fists leaves people sad and crying in the midst better I can be but it seems easier being the P everyone wants me to be mean cruel and uneasy to love the devil has won the devil has won he wears me like his glove as I glance at the skies above I wonder is there a such thing that's supposed to exist called love but then again, nah, fuck it. I say with my devilish grin, for every heartbreak I get, I break ten. But what more could you ask for with a heart full of sin? I remember drunken bottle nights from way back when. So I take it out on the next bitch who steps to me then. Now my hands full of blood cuts on my fist. After I find myself, I ask myself why the fuck did I just do this? But the demons inside keep my keep the tears in my eyes. So then I just say, come on, let's ride. I live life with no fears. I've been like that for years. Watch your step. I've been known to leave people in tears. The demons inside me are cold and unkind. They show through my eyes in a drop of a dime. Try me if you'd like, they make me say. They always make me prove it somehow, some way, before the end of the day. They make me put fear in in their hearts from the motherfucking start. Makes me intimidate everyone, even my date. I hate the demons inside of me because they take over the real pee and stop me from being all I know that I can be. 
But yeah, people still manage to say, I love you, P. Every time I want to change, someone calls me out my name and here come the demons to make them pay for what they have done, for what the demons call is being done. I still feel reasonably young, so with that being said, there's plenty yet to be done. That is the demon inside. So, I mean, I basically, I write all day, every day, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really mean, I'm not trying to be a, a poet, I'm not trying to make it sound like I just have all the answers in the world. All I can do is write down how I feel and share with y'all and if it's something that helps you then great you know what i mean and if it doesn't just that's just me expressing myself that's all i do so i have also um been meaning to do this question and answer video but everything has been postponed so you know what i mean just trying to catch up on everything but i got the questions i got new questions and i'm getting ready to do that so I love you guys and I miss you and thank you for all the support. Um, this year I said it's going to be my year, 2012. I'm going to do a lot of things different. I've already started off the year with the I don't give a fuck attitude and I still don't give a fuck. That's not going to change from the last year to this year. I'm just really, my tolerance is at zero. You know, I felt like a lot of people that got into that last situation that I had, you know, they pretty much see me down. And they said, okay, this bitch is down, so now we all got to jump on her to keep her down. You know what I'm saying? But it don't work like that. Because I'm a real bitch. And I'm a big bitch. And I got a lot of people to back me. And I got a lot of support. And I got a lot of love. So as long as I got all of that, you can't stop me. But you don't see somebody down on the ground and kick dirt in their face while they're there. You see somebody down, you try to help them out. And that was something that was very personal to me, that hurt me and cut me very deep. I'm still hurt. My feelings are still bent out of shape. But it's a process and I'm just going through the motions like everybody else. But I just wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody who was hanging with me. You know, my page was up, my page was down. I was coming this way for the shows and I missed anything that had happened during that time period. Um, I just want to say thank you for having my back. And, and staying here and staying real and you know helping me get up because I do feel like if it wasn't for all the support and all the love and my real friends and my family members I don't know what I, where I would have been because that shit fucked me up so I just want to say thank you before I started my video with my questions and answers and um, it's a new year we're about to get it popping this year I look forward to meeting each and every one of you really soon. I will be coming to cities and states near you. Um, my birthday parties are going to be ridiculous. So we getting it on, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just blessed. I feel blessed. And that's the only, the only word that I could use. I feel blessed. And that alone doesn't let me feel alone. Um, so thank you, guys, from me to you. Thank you. Um, I needed y'all over were there, so I'm going to continue doing everything that I feel that I need to be doing. And hopefully I'll make you guys proud and, you know, I'll be able to make it to where I want to make it and you guys can be like, yeah, one of our own made it. And I'm still going to come back to the hood. I'm still going to come back to the clubs. I'm still going to interact with you guys. I'm still going to love on you guys. And ain't nothing going to be different. Ain't nothing going to change. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Um, I've been up. I've been down. I've had money. I've been broke. I mean, I go through the everyday struggles just like everybody else. So, actually, I just got a letter in the mail saying that I got to go to court, you know, um, for my son with his father. So... You know, I go through everything that y'all go through. And the only reason why I make these videos is so that y'all can see that I do go through shit like that. I am real. I don't just want y'all's money and just go to the club and give me, give me, give me. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure, okay, I take care of my community because my community is taking care of me. Y'all helping taking care of my kids. Y'all helping take care of everything. Y'all help put food in my stomach. You know, y'all help keep roots over my head. So 
the least I can do is try to get back to y'all and try to make things better for us. Us urban, our urban community, LBGT communities, we we about to stand. We standing. We standing strong. And one of us is gonna make it. If it ain't me, shit, one of us is gonna make it. And when we do, y'all gonna have somebody to say, yeah, that bitch is repping for us. That bitch got us. You know what I'm saying? That bitch didn't get up there acting all fucking Hollywood, acting all fucking bitches. All these bitches out here walking around acting like they just they shit don't smell. Y'all old, old news. And if you don't step your game up. You gonna stay old news. Don't nobody give a fuck about your little fucking funky ass minutes on the fucking stage. You know what I'm saying? These people work hard for their money. And y'all come out to support us. That we need to be, you know, doing something to give back to you guys. Only reason why we where we at is because of y'all. So we just supposed to sit here and be having our nose in the air and act like, oh, y'all ain't shit. You know, there's a couple of people that do do the most. And there's a couple of people that are just genuine people that just say, hey, I just wanted you to know I support you. You would never know because you're too busy walking your motherfucking man and looking ass past everybody that's there to support you. So when everything is said and done, entertainer or not an entertainer, I'm still a lesbian and I'm still a part of this community. I mean, the Ellen DeGeneres are great. You know, the Rosie O'Donnells. You know, I mean, the, uh, what's that comedian's name? Wanda Sykes. I mean, they're all great, but, I mean, even Dice. She's cool. Okay, I give you your props. You Lala's cousin. Hey, Dice. Hey, that shots out to Dice. You know what I'm saying? But when I start seeing people really cutting for our urban communities and our LBGT communities a little bit more, then I'll be able to say, hey, I want to, I can't wait to meet that person. But there's not one person that I can feel like that about. I'm supposed to be excited to go run up and meet somebody because you're somebody's cousin. Like, I am excited to meet people that are opening up doors for us. I would like to see more lesbian-owned businesses. I would like to see more lesbian actresses and actors. I would like to, I mean, there's so much talent in the music industry. There's so many studs and fans that can sing and that can rap and that are trying to push their shit. And I feel like the only reason why they're not getting picked up is because they're gay. Because they have talent. They got skill. Y'all have skill. But all I got to say is don't let these motherfuckers shut you down. We are fighting for our rights and we are getting there slowly but surely. We already got the army. What the fuck they going to keep telling us we got to stay in the closet? 95% of the fucking army is gay. So how the hell are we good enough? Us gays are good enough to fight their wars. But we not good enough to, to walk around with our partners? Like, fuck all that shit. It's a new year. It's a new year, and they better hope I don't make it, because I got a mouthpiece, and I'm not afraid to use it. You better ask somebody, because Pretty P gonna let them know what the fuck it is. So, if I make it, I'm going... I'm not gonna say if, because I will make it. They say speak it and claim it. I speak it, and I claim it every day. Um, when I make it, trust me, all these little issues are gonna be hurt. A lot more doors I'm gonna be fighting to get open for everybody, because... I feel like the urban community needs to be recognized. Not just white lesbians and white gays or Mexican gays or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I feel like it's like, fuck the urban community. And if that's how they feel, then the urban community gonna fuck them back. If you got a bitch like me fighting for y'all, I'm gonna fight. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. You better, I'm gonna fight so I can't fight no more. So we gonna get some shit. And I just wanted to let y'all know, that's what I'm doing. It's not just about dancing. It's not just about all that. I just feel like, you know, if you're blessed enough to be put in a position to where you could possibly be heard and make a difference, then you, you need to use your, your position and do something so that you deserve your position. You've earned your position. You want to keep your position. It's, it's more out here than just stripping. Dancing, mixes, costumes. It's more to that. It's more to that. If you care about where you come from and what you're a part of, then you need to let it be known and make it known. So if anybody else gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. But I got y'all. So now we're about to get over there to these questions and answers. 
I just have to get that off my chest real quick because I don't want nobody fucking sitting here feeling like, okay, I can't be here. I don't deserve to be here. Or, you know, what all this other extra shit that people doing. I got clippings for all of y'all to sit on y'all's couch and get your popcorn so you can beep, 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 do that. Okay? I'm going to make it real convenient for y'all pretty soon because before you know it, you're going to be able to do this. And you can beep, beep, beep from your motherfucking couch and watch me get paid, okay? Hi, haters. Love you. Love you much. But anyways, we're going to get all this and some real shit. More important shit like you guys. Got some questions here and we about to get on it. So, coming at you soon. <laughs>